This is how I went from 100 FPS to 300 FPS in Fortnite using these window optimization. You can guys also use the settings on your PC in order to get more performance out of your any low end PC or laptop. So guys, let's get straight into over this video. Here is a quick reminder of my sponsor gear booster. If you want to get the lower ping and lowest input delay in Fortnite with just one click, so guys, you need to download and use the gear booster on your PC. And from my link, you can get seven days free trial. So guys, check out the link in the description. So guys, in the very first step, we are going to disable the dynamic tick that will help you to improving over system responsiveness and reduce the input lag so for that you need to go for your windows search search for cmd and make sure to run this as administrator now hit yes now simply paste here the command i will provide you in the description below simply paste it here that is the bcd edit slash set space disable dynamic tick space yes once paste it here and press enter now for the next step you need to disable the hp et on your pc that will guys reduce the micro stutters and also lower your system latency and improve your gaming performance so guys for that simply copy the second command from the description and guys simply paste it here i have already disabled it from my device manager therefore it is giving me this error guys you can also go for your windows start icon right click here Open up your device manager. Now simply scroll down, find out system devices. Now go for high position event timer and simply disable this device from here. I have already disabled it, so therefore I got this kind of the error. But guys, you can disable it using this command simply. Now for the next step, you need to download this Windows optimization pack on your PC for having the best performance. And you can get the link from the descriptions of my this video. Simply go on my website and download this file directly from there. So guys, once you download inside, you will find out PC register optimization, free gear up booster, power control, and timer resolution for reducing over input delay. So you need to select all these files from here and simply drag it on your desktop. Now we are going to disable the core parking on our PC using the power control. So guys, here you got this application. Simply double tap here. Now hit yes. Click OK. I agree. Next, and install this tool on your PC. After installation, here you will find out this kind of interface. Now in the very first step, by default, my Windows power plan right now on the balance and guys, that is also sacrifice a lot of my PC performance. So for that, you need to go for this drop down and set it onto the high performance. But guys, if you want to install the some high performance, so click on this install button, go for this drop down and set it onto the some highest performance and click on the make activate. After activating it, you can check it out here. My 16 of 16 cores are active right now. Now follow the same exact settings also on your power control and just simply click on this OK button. And this application will keep running in your background whenever you turn on your PC. Not use your lot of resources, just help to make your CPU active all the time while you're gaming. Now for the next step, you need to open up this PC registry optimization. So go for it. Now here you will find our CP purity, GP purity, scheduling category, FFIO purity, and system responsiveness. You need to install all these registries one by one on your PC. It is completely safe. Double tap here, hit yes, hit yes again, click OK, and do the same step for all these registries on your PC. Once you have installed all these registries, now simply close out of this folder. So guys, now the next step for reducing your input delay and your network latency, here is the combo of these two applications. First here we got our time and resolution, so simply double tap here, click on this maximum button and guys you will get here this current resolution that is 0.500 milliseconds and this will reduce your input delay and your response time while you are gaming. Now click on this minimize and keep this application running in your background before launching your any game. So guys now go for the next step that is the free gear booster.txt file. So open up this txt file and inside here you will find out this kind of the link for downloading the gear up booster you can also find out the link in the description you can simply go straight there and download this tool on your pc and guys by the way one of the luckiest person from you can get this extra 15 days free trial of the gear up booster using this free coupon code so guys simply download the software for getting the extra 15 days in gear up booster so guys simply copy this link from here Open up any browser, paste here the link which you copy from this txt file. Now click on this download for windows and download the software on your PC. So 
after downloading and installation here you will find our this current interface of the gear up booster so now in the very first step you need to log in here your account using your facebook your twitter your discord or google account so guys for that go for this icon and guys log in here your account after that here you will find it all installed game on your pc or you can simply go into this game tab and there you will find a thousand of online games on your pc you can select any of these now simply click onto the home tab and that will add it here in this home screen so here's our Fortnite, so you need to click on this boost button and this will start boosting and optimizing your network for Fortnite. So guys here you can check out here the improvement right now I'm getting around 553% and that's a lot. Now here is the 0% packet loss and here is the ping which I'm getting after using the gear booster. Usually I got around 60 to 70 ping while I playing Fortnite but by using the gear booster I can reduce it on 40 to 45 ms. So guys also you can change here your servers like you can go for the Middle East. Now you can select out here any server according to your need if you are from Europe, from Oceania, Brazil, North America, Middle East or Asia. Simply select out your server. After launching this program in the background or connecting with the server, simply click on this launch game button and guys launch the Fortnite after opening the gear booster. Otherwise this will not affect your ping. So guys now in the next step we are going to disable full screen optimization on our PC for fixing the input delay and making the more performance while you gaming. So for that go for your file explorer. Now go for the drive where you install your game. So I installed my game in my local C program file. Now find out here Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite game, Bind Ribbon 64. And now here you will find out your Fortnite client win64 shipping.exe file. This is the launcher file of the Fortnite. This can be different in your case, like if you want to optimize your CSGO value. And so guys go for the directory where you install your that specific game. Now go for the properties of your dead game, go for compatibility and check mark onto the disable full screen optimization. Now go for change high DPI and check mark onto the override high DPI scaling behavior. Now hit on the OK button, hit apply, click OK and close out of this directory. Now in the next step, we are going to tweak our GPU scheduling that will reduce our CPU load and give the maximum performance of your GPU while you're playing games. So for that, you need to go for your Windows search, search for graphics and open up graphics settings inside your system settings. So go for it. Now from here, you need to go for this default settings and under there, you will find out change default graphics settings. Now simply turn on the settings that is the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling and this will reduce your latency and improve performance. So guys turn on the settings, go for variable refresh, turn off the settings, optimization for windowed games, so turn off the setting from here. After that, go for the gaming tab, go for game mode and turn on the game mode on your Windows 10 or 11 whatever you are using. After that, now simply close out of this window settings. Now in the final and the last step, we are going to disable unnecessary Windows services that will free up your system resources. So for that, go for your window taskbar, right click here and open up the task manager. Now you need to go for the services tab, click on this open services and here you will find out this kind of the window. So now in the very first step, you need to press W from your keyboard and find out Windows search from this list. So guys, scroll down and here we got our Windows search. But guys, make sure if you are not using the Windows search on your PC, then you can disable the settings on your PC. I'm not using the Windows search, so guys, go for it. Right click here, click on the stop button and stop the service first of all. Now again, go for properties. Now you need to go for this startup type and set it onto the manual. After that, click on this apply button and hit OK. So guys, next you need to press C from your keyboard and find out connected user experience and telemetry. So guys, find out the connected user experience and telemetry. So guys, here we got it. So go for it, go for properties and disable the startup type. Then hit apply, click OK and close out of your Windows services. Now you have to one time register your PC, therefore all the changes properly take effect. Then launch your PC and enjoy the best performance out of it for gaming. I hope so you love it. Please make sure to let me know your opinion about this video in the comment below. And see you again in the next video.